Obviously, I mean, I take responsibility. I don't think we've played well in any phase of the game. It's played well against the run in the first half. But overall, just a poor performance all the way around. I take responsibility for that. Uh, as a coach, you know, I think in the situation we're in, I thought we were going to build on some of the things we did last week. I think Sacramento State's much improved and a uh, much better football team than people maybe give it credit for. But I also think they came out and played harder and wanted to play a little bit more than we wanted to play. And I thought they executed the things that they had to execute. They made big plays in the first half between, you know, a blocked field goal, which we have not had a problem with and <laughs> this year, and a, a fumble for a touchdown and three big throws. And really, other than that, they didn't do a lot in the first half either. And they struggled to run the football. And in the second half, I think that we really didn't play well in any phase of the game until uh, their twos were in the game. And then obviously, we were able to move the ball a little bit. But it was just a poor performance. And like I said, it's a poor coaching job. It's a poor playing job. It's it's us. And then uh, we use the word we when we win. And we use the word we when we lost. But I understand as a head coach, it's my responsibility. So I take uh, I take credit for a poor performance. Um, coach, you mentioned uh, that that block kick and that uh, fumble shortly after. Um, seemed like the team was a little deflated after that. Did did that take any of the, the energy out of the guys? Well, I think between that and the big throws that they made in the first half. I mean, you know, you get them in third down and they throw a, a touchdown and uh, they throw another one at the end. Of the, you know, they, they had three big third down plays that resulted in 21 points during the course of the game. And you know, they they you know well, they had 11 first downs. <laughs> you know, so I mean, it's not like. Uh, you know that they move the ball up and down on us. They made big plays, and I give them credit. They have good, they're athletic, and they made plays when they had the opportunity to make plays. The guy threw it on the money when he had the opportunity to throw the ball on the money, and, uh, and that was obviously the difference in the game. So, Dis disappointed in our complete effort and the execution of our offense. The, the style with we played with we played with tonight isn't the way we played the last couple of weeks. So, pretty disappointing. Coach, first time in recent memory, uh, you guys have lost to both Davis and Sac State in the same season. Um, you guys talk about, you know, the the competition within this state. Um, your thoughts on just kind of how that how that's gone this year, in terms of. Well, I don't claims. think we compete. Davis we just didn't play well enough to win a football game at UC Davis, and obviously we take the in-state part of it pretty. Uh, as part of a big part of who we are goal-wise, each and every year we try to win the state, and I think that. Uh, you know, this year, you know, you know, we're not playing well enough to win the state. And obviously that was, you know, tonight. I think that that is a good football team, but, I, you know, I don't, I'm not sure that it's 49 to 14 better, although tonight they were. So I want to make sure I give them enough credit and I make sure that that is a good football team. But, you know, if you don't play well against a good football team, you get beat 49 to 14. How tough was it to get past that defense, especially early on there? Well, they did some good things defensively. I'm not too sure, like I said before, that we executed the things we were trying to execute properly. And you know, execution is the name of the game, regardless of what you run on offense. And you know, if you don't execute it properly, if you don't have good pad level up front, if you don't play fast and hard up front in our offense, then you're going to struggle. And I thought they did a good job on Jared Muhammad early in the football game. But that, you know, when if they're doing that, then there are answers, and we should be able to get the ball to the perimeter, which we weren't able to do. And we should be able to win some one on ones in the pass game. But you know, when, everybody loves it when we have to throw it. But if you have to throw it, you better be able to protect it. And obviously, we really struggled to protect the quarterback. And that kid's a Jake Jeffrey. That kid's a tough son of a gun. I'll tell you that much because he got hit and hit hard all night long and kept getting back up and saying, "I want to play the game." So he's one guy that I would actually point my finger at and say, "That dude's a winner, man." And I think that guy showed up to, to play and he played hard. You know, a small thing in a game like this, but um, Joshua Jeter, you know, a, a senior that. You know, hadn't had a carry up until tonight. Um, you know, local guy. What what did it mean to get him in there and get him carries? Well, we would have loved to have put him in there when we were at forty nine to fourteen. To be honest with you, but <laughs> you know that, that guy. And I just told the team this at the end. I just said, you don't want to look at a guy that's truly a Mustang, a guy that's really a Cal Poly Mustang football player. That guy walked on here. Uh, sometimes he doesn't get to get dressed out until we get to the the third or fourth game, and he gets out of practice, and all he does is give everything he has every single day. He comes out there and he runs scout team off, and he loves it. And he he loves being a part of the Cal Poly Mustang football team and family. And uh, you know it meant a lot to me to put him in the football game, whether we we're winning or losing. Because, like I said before, he's truly a Mustang that earned it. He earned the right to get out there and have three carries in his college career, and it's something he'll probably treasure the rest of his life. Coach, one more game in Greeley next week. What do you guys have left for next week? We have Northern Colorado.
that's who we got left, and we're going to go play a football game, and we'll see if we learn, learn to love the game a little bit more than we loved it tonight and respect the game maybe a little bit more than we respected the game tonight by how we played too. And uh, so we'll see. You know, and I think that'll be really the end of the, the telltale of who these guys really are. I think up until this time, in spite of uh, our record, and I just told them this too, is that we had battled in every game. Tonight we didn't battle. You know, our motto all year long has been to fight the fight, and I don't think we fought the fight tonight. So if you don't fight the fight, you get knocked out. Any other questions?